a Russian man who was rescued in the Sea of Okhotsk after surviving for more than two months in an inflatable boat that lost its engine, shared his experience with journalists on Wednesday. Russian state TV showed 46-year-old Mikhail Pachujin in the hospital talking to doctors and even finding the strength to smile. Pachujin was rushed to an emergency care unit at the Magadan hospital after being rescued. Chief Dr. Yuri Lednev told reporters that he was suffering from dehydration and hypothermia but was in a stable condition. Pachujin weighed about 50 kilograms when he was found, having lost half of his body weight, news report said. He told reporters from his hospital bed that he collected rain water to drink and stayed warm by using his camel wool sleeping bag. I survived with God's help, there is no other way to say it, he said. Pichujin set on a journey to watch whales in the Sea of Okhotsk in early August together with his 49-year-old brother and 15-year-old nephew. Their bodies were reportedly found in the boat when the Angel fishing vessel rescued Pichujin off the Kamchatka Peninsula media reports said the three men traveled to the Shantar Islands off the northwestern shore of the Sea of Okhotsk in early August. They went missing after setting off for Sakhalin Island from Cape Paravsky in the Khabarovsk region on August 9. A rescue effort was launched but failed to locate them. Russian media reported that the trio had a small food ration and about 20 liters of water when their engine failed and they found themselves adrift. When the crew of the fishing vessel spotted the tiny inflatable boat on their radar, they initially thought it was a buoy or a piece of junk, news report said, but they turned on the spotlight to make sure and were shocked to see Pichujin. He didn't immediately say how he managed to survive in the Sea of Okhotsk, the coldest sea in East Asia and known for its gales, and how his brother and nephew died. The crew of the ship that rescued Pichujin found their bodies tied to the boat to prevent them from being washed away by the sea, news report said. When Pichujin was rescued, his boat was drifting about 11 nautical miles off Kamchatka's shore, about 1,000 kilometers from their departure point on the other side of the Sea of Okhotsk. Prosecutors said that they launched an investigation into the incident on charges of violation of safety rules that resulted in deaths. Больше как, больше ничего не сказать. Ну что делали, что пили хотя бы? Водичку собирал даже живую. Холод. Как что? Как называется? Спальник. Монгол. Там верблюжья шерсть. Но он как бы мокрый, он не сохнет. Под него залазишь, маленько поерзаешь, поерзаешь, согреешься. Крапуль подняли, и что? Охотском море, но кроме спутникового телефона связи практически никакой нет. Существует раз радиостанции с волной морской лебедь, но это только услышат вас только проходящие мимо суда. A Russian man was rescued in the stormy sea of Okhotsk after surviving for more than two months in a tiny inflatable boat that lost its engine, but his brother and nephew died, officials said Tuesday. The prosecutor's office in the far east of Russia said that the man was rescued Monday by a fishing vessel off the Kamchatka Peninsula. It didn't name the survivor, but Russian news reports identified him as 46-year-old Mikhail Pachujin, 
who in early August set on a journey to watch whales in the Sea of Okhotsk together with his 49-year-old brother and 15-year-old nephew. Their bodies were reportedly found in the boat when the Angel fishing vessel rescued Pechujin. Media reports said the three men traveled to the Shantar Islands off the northwestern shore of the Sea of Okhotsk in early August. They went missing after setting off on their way back to Sakhalin Island on August 9. A rescue effort was launched but failed to locate them. Russian media reported that the trio had a small food ration and about 20 liters of water when their engine failed and they found themselves adrift. Pechujin weighed about 50 kilograms when he was found, having lost half of his body weight, news report said. He didn't immediately say how he managed to survive in the Sea of Okhotsk, the coldest sea in East Asia and known for its gales, and how his brother and nephew died. When the crew of the fishing vessel spotted the tiny inflatable boat on their radar, they initially thought it was a buoy or a piece of junk, the Komsomolskia Pravda newspaper said, but they turned on the spotlight to make sure and were shocked to see Pechujin. A video released by the prosecutor's office showed an emaciated man in a life jacket desperately shouting, come here. And the crew working to pull him back to safety. I have no strength left, Pechujin said as he was taken to safety. Prosecutors said that they launched an investigation into the incident on charges of violation of safety rules that resulted in deaths. По предварительной информации, 9 августа текущего года двое мужчин и 15-летний подросток, сын одного из них, на лодке катамаранного типа выдвинулись от мыса Перовского Николаевского района Хабаровского края в сторону Ахинского района Сахалинской области. Через какое-то время связь с ними была утеряна, местоположение судна оставалось неизвестным, проводились поисково-спасательные мероприятия. 14 октября около 22 часов в катамаран был обнаружен проходящим мимо рыболовным судном в акватории Охотского моря в районе села Усть-Харюзова Камчатского края. Два человека погибли, один остался в живых, ему оказана первая медицинская помощь.